Hey y'all, this is Deborah uh, Living Kroger coming at you with just a little bit of a garden talk. Um, I've been learning how to do um, winter sewing in containers. I've noticed there's a lot of uh, YouTube channels that does winter sewing for certain um, flower seeds. And there's probably maybe a couple that does it for tomatoes and peppers and stuff like that. Other um, type of vegetable plants. And I tried it out with the um, tomato plants, and I'm like, I'm super excited. I did it in a um, half-gallon milk jug, and the ones that I grew in there, I went ahead and transplanted out here two weeks ago. And they are just, you know, this is what I got in, in here to what they're doing now. I mean, it's just, it's doing so good. The ones I did in my greenhouse... Did not do so good. They stunted. They will not grow any taller. I tried planting them in the ground too to see maybe if that would help them better, but no, they end up dying. But the ones I did in the milk jug did fantastic. I mean, look at that one. And that one. I'm telling you, I even did some, um, I did some Swiss chard. That's Swiss, Swiss chard right there. I just literally plant that right there. Um, I'll let it thin itself out. I'm just toying around and seeing what works best for me in my area because, you know, I'm now in Zone 8 in North Carolina, which is really close to Outer Banks, and I have to deal with sand, sand soil, and trying to figure out how to get my stuff to grow better, whether it's in ground or in a greenhouse or in these. I mean, look, this is a regular um, water bottle. I obviously put a little too many seeds in there, but I mean, look at them. Look at them. I got another one. I got another one right here. This is my chocolate cherry. These did not even grow in the greenhouse. I don't know what's up with the greenhouse, but I'm finding out new methods and trying to figure out, like I said, figure out what works best for me in my new area. These are... Um, Uh, I want to say Roman type tomatoes. I took some out because there was just way too many in there, and I gave them to a neighbor. <laughs> I have I have a lot of tomatoes. This is just a few. Um, like I said, I'm just toying around, trying to figure out what what works best for me in my area. My nights are uh, as low as I've received for a month now is 45 degrees so it's really safe to go ahead and put my tomatoes out in this weather there's no more frost here thank god <laughs> but you guys i just i got so much going on um cab cabbages and everything has started sprouting my collard sprouted uh, my peas are just now starting to put off their their pods i'm really happy about that i'm gonna have some peas here real soon um i've still got i still got cabbage and, and collards growing because it's not gotten too hot and it's not gotten too cold. So everything is working harmony right now for me. Um, if you're still in, if you're in an area that's still getting t uh, too cold of a night, you can winter sow. It's not too late to winter sow. These only take 10 days. I started these on the 4th, uh, March the 11th. Look. Not even a month. And they're, I mean, all of them. This one too. But I took tape off to get some out. Those, I mean, give give the winter sewing a method. I mean, you try any kind of, as long as sun can get through it, tape it up around real good. And like I said, I was toying with this, so I didn't even use sea starting soil. I just used the soil in my yard. That's all I used, soil in my yard. And voila, I got tomato seedlings out the wazoo, and I'm running out of space. <laughs> Places to put them. Not to mention, I have to trellis these things up. So, this is um, my little garden um, experiment that I've been working on, and I'm excited. Uh, over there, I got my, um, I still have cabbage heads over there, but I got my uh, sweet potatoes, and over there in the far corner there I got beans radishes uh, potatoes and I'm still working on a few other things I plant in just about anything if I can find a container that will hold soil and it's got holes to drain well I will plant in it 
I will do whatever I have to do to get what I need to grow in whatever area I can get it to grow in my yard. I, I literally have uh, an acre of land. Most of it is covered um, in trees. And I'm hoping to get these trees cut down a little bit more. I'm still slowly working on my, um, my small um, food forest. But I'm starting, I'm starting to be more like, um, thinking more like permanent pasture lifestyle where, you know, just plant where I can find it. If there's no, uh, not too many human trafficking, um, going in and out, messing with the area. I'm trying to put uh, certain plants in that area, which I'll probably end up doing with some of these tomato plants because I have a ton of them. So, um, <clears throat> that's what I got going on, you guys. I just... I'm out, I'm foraging and learning my area as best as I can, getting my walks in every day. Um, I do a keto boar diet. I eat mostly um, meat and um, animal fat for my daily diet. And whatever I grow as far as produce wise is what I eat. I will not go to the stores and buy any produce from them anymore. With everything that they have done, it's just not safe. We need to start being more uh, dependent on ourselves, growing our own food. If you're living in an apartment, guess what? You can grow stuff in an apartment. These are cherry tomatoes that I'm popping out, you guys. Cherry tomatoes. And you know what? These little guys can grow in a mop bucket from Dollar Tree. Drill holes, put your soil in, a little fertilizer, and voila, you have a perfect pot for a cherry tomato tree uh, plant no problems whatsoever it just needs a sun and these things can grow in shade too if you're getting partial partial sun partial shade they will still grow and I have uh, been learning about mimosa trees which I have a few on my property so I'll be planting um, tomatoes around them because they are they literally put out a lot of nitrogen, and tomatoes love nitrogen, so they, um, I did it last year. They went wild. It looked like I had a forest of tomatoes growing. I was like, wait, I mean, they're just insane. Grew all around the, um, the mimosa trees. So, I, that's all I'm going to tell you guys. Uh, just experiment. Figure out what works best for you. Don't sit there and freak out that you're going to starve to death. Learn, learn, be a survivor, figure out what's best for you and your family, and you'll get through this. All right, talk to you guys later. Hope everybody stays safe. God bless.